Hi guys, today I'll be showing you the best way to get the perfect French mani on natural nails using dip powder. I have a few tricks that will help you get a clean smile line every time and a little gadget that's going to make it so much easier. Let me go ahead and show you how I do it. Okay loves, we're gonna start off by prepping the nail. I'm going to drill the shine off her nail bed, making sure I get the sides and as close to the cuticle as possible to avoid lifting. I'm then going to dehydrate and prime the nail using Bond. I'm going in with my base and applying it to the top three quarters of the nail. Make sure your brush is flat like so and apply enough base to create an even layer. This will create an apex, so don't apply base to the nail walls just yet. It's now time to dip, so I'm going to grab my desired pink shade and instead of pushing the finger into the jar, I'm going to bring the jar to the nail until it is fully covered. Use a fluffy brush to clean off the remaining powder and maintain a clean surface. And as you guys can see, our nail is now ready for French dip application. Now the key to getting a perfect smile line is in this little gadget. The Kira Sky French case is designed to make it extremely easy to create the perfect French set every time. I'm going to prep my workspace, so I'm grabbing my pure white and pouring a generous amount into the case. I'm then going to shake it lightly to create an even surface for dipping. Apply base a hairline away from the cuticle, and this is where you want to go in and cover the sidewalls. Remember to keep your brush flat for even application. I'm now going to grab my French case and dip the finger in at a 45 degree angle until I get the desired smile line. Hold the finger steady and pull straight out. Now hold the finger down and tap off the excess. Pour the pink powder on the rest of the nail. You don't want to dip into the pink because this could cause the colors to bleed together, so pouring is the key to a crisp line. Remember to tap and lightly brush off the excess every time that you dip. I'm going to apply base to the entire nail again and dip one more time into the French case, making sure to align it to the previous smile line. Again, we want to hold the finger down when tapping off the excess. Pour your pink on top one more time and dust off any excess. Once I'm done dipping into the white and pink, we can go in with our seal protect. I'm going to apply a generous coat and wait a few minutes for it to dry. Once it is dry, we can go in to file and shape the nail. You can go in with an e-file to cut down on time, but if you follow the proper steps when applying your base, then you shouldn't really need to file that much. Buff the nail to create a smooth surface and dust off any excess powder with a fluffy brush. Apply a second layer of Seal Protect and allow it to dry for about a minute or so, or until you complete your other four fingers. I'm now going to rub the Seal Protect into the nail by using a lint-free wipe. We're going to finish this look off by applying a thin, even layer of top coat without overlapping. Allow this to dry and apply a second layer to the nail. This second layer is what's going to add shine. You don't want to wait too long between your second Seal Protect application and your first top coat, so I would recommend doing one hand at a time to make sure your glazes are drying properly. Always make sure to finish your mani by applying cuticle oil and rubbing upward. And here's our final look! As you guys can see, we have a perfect smile line and there was no sculpting or stencil needed. Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when we post again. And if you would like to purchase your own Kira Sky French starter kit, click on the link below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!